Hi, my name is Dr. Adams and I'm a dentist at Serene Holistic Orthodontics. And today we're just going to talk about a simple thing. A lot of our patients will just immediately get right into it and they'll be like, yeah, you know, I've been researching about the DNA appliance or the homeoblock appliance and how much does the DNA appliance cost? And, you know, I'll tell you straight out um, what we do with our cases. Uh, most of them are adults who have been clenching their teeth or having sleep problems for a while. And depending on the complexity of the case and how long it's going to take and the size and shape of their jaw, and we'll bundle a lot of other services uh, into the treatments. You know, we don't charge extra for x-rays uh, before and after treatment. We don't charge extra for photographs. We integrate some of the myofunctional therapy, therapy recommendations, which are really important. And we put that into one fee, just depending on how long we think uh, and how much effort we're gonna have to put into the appliances. And what we charge in our office for, in terms of cost for the DNA appliance or the homey block is somewhere between eight to $12,000 all in for everything. And um, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, you know, again, you know, what we charge uh, for the DNA appliance in terms of cost, you know, the D you know that is the cost of the DNA appliance because that's what a lot of our patients will be like. They, you know, they'll come in and they'll be like, "Okay, well, I've heard everything, but what does the DNA appliance cost?" And yeah, they just want to get to the chase. So, you know, depending on how long we're anticipating uh, the case taking and the amount of effort and everything else, we charge somewhere between eight to twelve thousand dollars, and that fee does not increase at all during the course of treatment. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what people get for that, for that, uh, for their money in our office. You know, we have about 200 patients that are currently actively in adult treatment. We have about another 150 kids that are actively in, uh, appliance treatments of different kinds. We do a lot of different types of appliances, but when it comes to the DNA appliances, um, the first thing people will get is we will take a look at the size and shape of their mouth and the appliances will stimulate the mouth to grow a little bit wider and more forward and taller. Um, that'll create more room for the tongue and better breathing. The other thing we'll do is we'll give some uh, myofunctional tongue therapy exercises to do that'll help the tongue get stronger and perform better and hopefully stay up in their palate and not in their throat while they sleep. Uh, a lot of our patients have facial asymmetries, you know, their smiles will be kind of a little off to the left or off to the right. And it's not just their teeth, it's really the whole jaw structure. So we have a protocol um, where we'll add different amounts of, uh, you know, the bite, because really the DNA appliance, what it is, is a combination of like a retainer, um, an expander, and then there's a little bite block area. And what we'll do is we'll set the bite to be neutral. Um, and as the, as the mouse growing wider and taller and more forward, forward it'll level out left to right. So um, that's uh, something that not all practitioners have really got the experience to really sort out. Um, the other thing that we'll do is we specifically will design the um, palatal area of the appliances to the shape of the patient's tongue. And the appliance is a really great tongue training mechanism. So if that palatal area, the appliance is shaped properly and people are given the correct exercises, um, one of the really big points in the treatment is to train the tongue to you know stay present in the mouth you know it's one thing to get the mouth to be bigger um, but for our patients who have airway trouble and one of their big goals is to correct sleep apnea um, if they are not able to you know keep their tongue suctioned up onto their palate at the end of treatment then uh, no matter how big wide or tall we've got in their mouth uh, they are likely to maintain airway issues um, Anyway, um, you know, hopefully we've given you a better idea what you're getting for your money, and now you at least know these DNA appliances cost between eight to twelve thousand uh, dollars. If there is some unfortunate situation where you lose the appliance or your dog eats the appliance, um, you know there is a fee to remake the appliances. Um, you definitely don't want to do that. That'll 
probably set you back like another thousand hours to have the lab make it. And additionally, it will probably set your case back about uh, two months because it takes about a month to get the new appliance back. And then it probably takes another month or so to get the bite rebalanced back to, to where it was before. Um, the DNA appliances and the homeobloc appliances are capable of getting the mouth to grow about six millimeters in each dimension, which is you know, probably about this much, which is quite a bit. Um, that will take care of most of the things uh, most of our patients need in terms of improving their TMJ or sleep problems. Um, most of them will not feel like they will need more treatment. There are some people who are quite a bit smaller and they need more than six millimeters of growth. We've gotten pretty good at recognizing these people when they come into the office. We'll say, hey, you know, just to let you know, you know, you may need a second round of appliance therapy. And then once we've gotten the full benefit of the first set of appliances, incidentally, there is a lower appliance. There's, there's, they come in a pair. Um, but if people need more than the original um, six millimeters and things are still growing and heading in the right direction and we haven't met all our goals and we know we can get more, we will take new impressions and we will have a new set of appliances made and uh, there'll be a whole new round of treatment. We do not charge a whole nother eight to $12,000 for the second set of appliances and no one is in any way, shape or form obligated to do the second set. You know, they can stop and the bite will be totally stable and they don't have to do the second round of appliances. But the fee for the second set of appliances is typically uh, our po office policies that we charge about half as much as the first set of appliances. So hypothetically, if you paid, uh, if, if we stated that your DNA, DNA appliance cost is going to be $9,000 and um, at the end of treatment, um, you needed an, another set of appliances. Uh, we would charge you another $4,500 if you decided to continue on with treatment. Um, if, however, during the course of treatment, we had to raise our fees, um, like let's just say we raised that same fee from 9,000 that we would normally do to 9,500, um, the second round of treatment would be half of the, you know, the, 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 the current fee in the office. So it'd be half of the, the $9,500. You know, I just wanted to, you know, be really transparent about that. Um, but anyway, there you have it. My name is Dr. Adams, and now you know what these appliances cost. Have a nice day.